All right, I'm going to tell a story that I promised to only tell here and on Joe Rogan, and uh, it's about my friend Matthew Gorskevich on his 21st birthday. Okay, so we're in a town called Garms, Afghanistan. We're in the wait. You've never told this before. Not publicly, no. <laughs> Hang on, wait. Yes. I love you, Christy. Please turn this off right now. <laughs> Please. You, you already know what I'm going to say, and I love you. Um, but Better uh, with so divorced. You, no, I mean, <laughs> here we go. So. <laughs> Children too. So here's the thing. We're on our first tour and like you're on what's called post. And for anyone who doesn't know, it just means you're looking out of a hole and you're like trying to stay awake. So we're in a town called Garms where no one ever been there in a long time. And like we're, we had done, uh, so you do like the initial insert and you like see some, you clear and then you seize and you hold and build. That was the technique we used in Afghanistan at that time. And so we're like there and I'm talking to Matthew Gorskevich. It's his birthday. And he's like, I'm turning 21. And I was 20 and I was like, this is fucking cool. We're like talking about like, like dumb shit that we're gonna do when we get home. Is there anything I can't say? No. no. Okay. Here well, we go. Yeah, yeah, G yeah, bank got it. Right. Okay. Well, let me, do you let have me. a lime? <laughs> 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 no, do you have a lime one? A lime and one, please. Bush. I want both. No, yeah. Have, Dude, Dre, hey, no, no, no. Hey, get a Bud Light for Shane Gillis. Get a Bud Light for Shane. Shane's one of the boys. Shane is a boy. Is he coming on? Dude, there's so I much. I want to talk history with that guy. Dude, I, I bet you, if we were to lock you two in a room, it would be yeah, like okay. an infinity symbol. It'd be the worst <laughs> like, fucking just you history. Like, yeah. He's like talking about, well, Napoleon did the French podcast ever. But, uh, Stonewall Justin was fucking <laughs> autistic. Communism sucks. Yeah, no, it'd be great. Down soon. But, so we're on post, and we're like tired as hell, and we can't, we can't really, um, do anything but like talk to stay awake. You're, you're like saying like dumb, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go do this. You're like, you're just saying whatever. And we were watching this main road and we we put pamphlets out, we talked to the locals, we told everyone like, hey, don't don't fucking walk down this road. Whatever you do, don't walk down this road. There's ID, got, people are moving ID materials up and down this main thoroughfare. If you're on this road at night, it's bad for you, right? Cool. Sitting there watching and he's like, oh dude, look at that. And two guys come out, two bros. Two bros and a donkey. Military aged males. Military aged males. Excuse me. Thank you. Two military aged males and a donkey bros. start moving down Definition the thoroughfare. Bros. Yeah, it's not. Bros. It's not that unusual. It's like 130 during day in the shade, so they'd move around a lot at night. You hear fucking goats and despise shit. Despise the weather. Yeah, it's fucking nightmare. It melted a watch I had actually, like one of those fucking garments that would like give you like dope and shit. And it gets to 104. People don't believe this on rooftops. If yeah. it's like. It will get to like 142 on concrete. Yeah. It's like 148. It melted my watch. My watch that could go deep to the bottom of the ocean. Whoever doesn't believe that's never been on a rooftop in July. Yeah. Anywhere. <laughs> and then put that on hell because that's where like Iraq's like the sun. And, yeah. Right. And then the ground's the exploding. And then there's bullets everywhere. It's a bad fucking place, dude. Yeah. Not so, heaven. Yeah, not heaven. No. No, it's not. <laughs> um, but we're like talking and, I'm, and so we see these two guys come out and we're like, Oh, fuck yeah, dude. They're on the road. All right, fucking get down, right? He's got a gun. I got a gun. We're waiting. So we call up to the COG, the corporal of the guard, and go, hey, COG, COG is post one. Two military age males and a donkey right here out in front of us. Roger, what, is he, what are they doing? And I'm like, oh, they're just kind of just kind of standing there in the middle of the road. Roger, I'm coming at you. Fuck it. He comes over, and he's, he puts his head through the thing, and he looks, and he goes, Roger, yeah, two military age males. They start doing anything. You, you fucking let me know. And by this, so we're living in the same area where we have um, fucking Marines living because it's a small building and people are like kind of moving around a little bit and they're like, what is it? And I like, that's two fucking guys. So he's on a 240. I, I'm on a 240. Like we're, we're going to saw these dudes in half if something happens and they they just stop moving. And so now more and more people are waking up the whole platoon. There's like squad leaders, team leaders, and, and all these people are like, what the fuck's, you know, they're like looking out the hole and it's just like, all right, cool. What are we doing? And then all of a sudden they just stop like dead center in front of us. And he's like, if they fucking like pull out any materials, you just fucking drop them. Cool. Roger that. And they stop. And then the one guy looks around and he, he walks to the front of the donkey. And the other guy looks around. He walks to the rear, the hind quarters. And, uh, <laughs> and the, everyone's like, what's going on? I was like, they're just standing there. One's the front, one's the back. And the first guy takes his shirt and he, he puts it in his mouth like this. And then he just starts fucking the donkey in front of us. So what happens if they pull out a dick? He, no, he just starts, he just starts fucking the donkey in front of us. And so all this, all you can hear in this room is holy shit. And so he is just plowing this animal. I'm so sorry, show. He is just plowing this, just slamming. And his friend, his bro, his, his obviously really good friend, has it 
you would probably do it. You'd probably be really good at this. Has I'm him in like a, a choke. Yeah. yeah. And he's just like, he's just like holding the donkey right there. <laughs> As it like, he has the donkey in an arm bar. The, 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 donkey donkey just, murder, murder. the donkey's just like, <laughs> and he's just slamming it. And it's so, he's like rubbing it. It's the weirdest part. He's like trying to caress it. Like it's going to like Calming smooth it, it over. Be like, it's okay. It's okay. okay it's okay. <laughs> and he's just, Christ. he's slamming the ass of the ass. He's slamming ass and slamming ass. And then like, everyone's like, we're waking up the lieutenant. And he's like, what the fuck's going on? And we're like, they're fucking donkeys, sir. And he's like, no, they're not. And he like pokes his head and goes, holy shit, I gotta tell someone this. So we report out that there, there's a guy fucking a donkey. And he's like, what do I do? You can't just, you can't just shoot a donkey that's being fucked by a guy that'd be common donkey everywhere. Nobody would believe you. And so he's just slamming this, this animal and like. And then he stops, and it just comes to an end. And like, thank God, thank comes. you, Lord Jesus. And then, <laughs> whatever you write this. And then he book. looks, he looks at his friend, and then they fucking swap. And so his friend takes the donkey because he's their good friends. And then his friends start fucking it. And I'm like, sir, please let us kill this fucking donkey. It doesn't deserve this life. <laughs> I just, I just, <laughs> and, and it's the worst moment ever. And Gorskavis looks at me and he goes, This is the worst birthday of my life. <laughs> I just, <laughs> you are <laughs> telling me the entire time I've known you, I need to come on the podcast and tell the donkey story. <laughs> and if I would have known that you were just going to ruin Shrek for me, I wouldn't have come. Dude, they did. Oh, they yeah. both did. They came. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just, imagine. Okay. <laughs> like, I was just like, there's no way we're teaching these guys how to vote. Like, like, their favorite activity. Like, if it was us, we'd all be fucking a donkey. Like, it was so bad. This is not going to work. <laughs> we're like, how do you guys feel about elected officials? I don't know. Do I get to fuck a donkey? No. No, stop fucking donkeys. And then, and then they left. That's the weirdest part. Is like they both they came out. They fucked a donkey in front of us, and then they left. I think they established dominance. So I think they own us on some level. I just picture the donkey. Oh. It's like a movie scene. You have the sniper rifle and the zombies, or the donkey just looks. It's like. <laughs> you see the eyes like in me. It's like, please, please, God, do this. Bro, I, just, I just want to know how they determined who was first. You know, were they like rock, paper, scissoring over there that day? Just like, all right, who's going to get old girl first? I just love Going the in the house, that's what they did before. It's like, yeah. Best Listen, two out of three. <laughs> yeah, right. three. Before, we, before we go fuck the donkey in front of the Americans, we should settle this first one. Two, <laughs> who's who's going to fucking put it in a chokehold yeah. first? <laughs> it was. It was the weirdest, and I was just like, man, this this is too much. Like, please just let the ground explode again. Please let them shoot at us again. Anything but this, dear Lord, please. Hard cut to the donkey in a yeah. shower. <laughs> Sitting there in cold water. Dude. Sitting there. Yeah. 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 Crying. Yeah. I always like to Eddie imagine. Murphy voice. <laughs> it's something in the wind. Yeah. Poor donkey. Like... I can't I could, listen to Smash Mouth anymore. I can't watch <laughs> Shrek with my kids. Thanks. I Dick. told you it was a good story. <laughs> Jesus you ever Christ. heard a story like that? You gonna talk about that on Fat Electrician, <laughs> the Fat Files? <laughs> Today on the Fat Files, we're talking about the donkey sodomy and happened in Afghanistan. You gonna do that one? 